Hello, welcome to my channel, That's What She Said. I'm Sid, and today I'm doing another new deck spread for a not new deck. I have got this also back in the 90s. Um, it is the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg by Yuri Shakov. It's uh, published by U.S. Game Systems. Ooh, printed in Belgium, never noticed. This was actually commissioned by the Russian state. Uh, I love the images, the way I don't like the Raider Waite images is probably, I don't know, it's because it's based on those images, but it's got a very Russian flair and I just love the images right from the beginning. Um, but I didn't use it much because um, I was still um, very um, insecure. Uh, I found this box soon after I bought it and it's this is its home. I don't even know what I have um, the tuck box anymore, what I did with it. I probably just got rid of it. So it has its own little fancy box. Um, I'll put this over here where you can see it. So now uh, we're going to do... Um, I don't know if it's still available. I don't know if the cardstock, if it's still printed. This was printed in Belgium. Um, who knows um, where it is now, but this is the one that I got way back in the last century. Yes, the last century. So we're going to shuffle, and I really haven't used it much for readings because um, one of the other decks, Ancestral Path, that was the one I really gravitated for towards. And I like using it a lot more. I liked it's not uh, non-male-centric, I, I guess I should say. I've also, like I said I've got these metal paint pens. They're, they're not metallic, they're metal paint. I mean, they just feel and smell different. Um, they smell like metal. And I edged these in gold because I think they should have gold instead of white edges. And it's not the neatest. You can see it goes over. And that doesn't bother me because I know this is my deck. There's no other deck like it. Okay. So, oh, I'll do one more shuffle because it's actually quite enjoyable to shuffle. I am doing the new deck spread that was invented by the Astro Alchemist. I found it on Divination's YouTube channel. Go watch her. It's a five deck, not a five deck. It's a five card spread asking questions of the deck how it wants me to use it because it's a collaboration. Whoa, did you see that? Hold on. Yeah. Sneaky. I wonder when that happened. I'm just going to check really quick because it's like, whoa. Sneaky little card. Card one. And if you've watched these, it's the same five questions. You know, basically asking what type of questions. Does the deck want advice for me? Um, no. <laughs> there we go. And I'll put these aside. Oh wow, I really messed that. It's okay. You spent decades pristine, and then I started messing with you in the last year. Sorry, cards. But just know, it makes you look more, less mass processed, doesn't it? Okay, what type of readings are preferred? King of Clubs. Oh, you know what? I don't know what clubs So I believe it's wands. Sorry, I'm looking in, so there's swords, cups, and coins. So yeah, so clubs is wands. 
I, I know that the, uh, I guess it makes sense too. You see the little the club, but it looks wandish. Um, I know the regular playing cards, the suits do have a uh, correspondence, but I, I can never remember what is what. So we have, let's see, it's King of Clubs. I don't like when I get a court card, but clubs would be passion. But uh, questions of honesty, maybe? Or I'm going to pull another card for this because when I get the court cards, I kind of don't know if it's, <laughs> but it's another club, right? Look at that. It's the ace of clubs. So questions maybe um, about n new uh, passions. Uh, advice. Ooh, advice. This deck might want to be used for advice. I kind of like that. <clears throat> so, um, do I see anything else besides advice? Um, new advice. Uh, well, this is like new undertakings, but the other one, it's a uh, conscientious sympathetic it seems like asking advice about doing a new project is what i get there so what advice would help me in learning to work with it okay you saw i it wasn't i'm getting another wands lots of wands so seven of wands and i keep on getting the seven here and here these two places um it's getting kind of redundant, people, but I guess it's telling me something, right? If I keep getting, um, so perseverance, uh, I mean, it's like overwhelming odds, but still uh, advice to help me is, is that I need to persevere. If I give up, nothing's going to happen. But if I keep working at it, that's the only way I'm going to um, get ahead. I just want to show the, the picture because that's why I got this deck. I just love the artwork. How might help me grow as a reader? The world. You'll give me the world. Aw, how nice. You'll help me grow by just giving me everything. Well, I'm going to ask of you that I ask everybody else. It's like, okay, fine. Give me winning lottery ticket numbers so that, you know, I can just uh, deal with, <laughs> you know, deal with this alone and not have to deal with anything else. But, you know, that's, that's probably not going to happen. But uh, work through to completion. Uh, I love these. You know, I've looked at it, but I, I thought these were all the same, but they're different little, the same size, they're all winged, but they're different creatures. you got a lion, you've got a bull, you got an eagle, you got an angel. Um, so, basically synthesize it so it becomes my world. Hmm. How might I struggle? Six of Swords. Hmm. I keep on, I mean, there's different, where I see the sword sometimes as a shield, or a six means a, it's a journey, but sometimes it, uh, I see sometimes the swords are choosing the way. Meaning it's like, okay, you have you have a journey someplace to go, but you're being blocked. There's a, 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 only a specific way that you have. It's almost like escaping. Um, they're not looking happy. Um, so it's a, a, an escape more than just a, a journey, if you will. 
um, leaving under um, you know difficulties, but um, or to avoid difficulties. So how will I struggle? So expediency. <laughs> Changing course where needed? Maybe. I'm kind of headstrong. Um, I'll come back to that. How can I fully tap into the deck? Oh, look at that. Moon and lovers. Oh, that is just... To understand both my masculine and my feminine side, because I'm... Uh, like the beauty, the freedom of emotion, oh, I, <laughs> with the moon card, which is, you know, I always see as um, emotional. This has got less water. That's an angry moon. Look at that moon. That is not a happy moon. Um, and a lot of people think of the moon as a, a feminine card, but this is decidedly more masculine. Looks like this one tower has actually got uh, still work. With, either it's a telescope or they're still doing work on it. Um, but it's like intuition. So using my intuition um, to read exactly what the cards are talking about. Um, having sort of a love affair with the cards. Maybe. Hmm. It's using the intuition. And combining the two halves, because everybody has masculine and feminine, to intuitively combine those to read the cards. That would be the world to have everything all wrapped up. But the Six of Swords. Maybe I'll struggle because I am headstrong and I need to. And you know what? So many of these cards, I keep on coming up with the same thing. You know, take myself out of it. It's not about me. Except when I'm reading about me. But read the cards for what they are for the question being asked and take myself out of it and just be the conduit let my intuition and all of me combine to read what the cards have to say in this case they want advice about a new something new new venture new possibility new craft new not not new love life but a new way to go, a new venture in life, a new job. But they're looking for advice. And as usual, I'll struggle with taking myself out, not voicing my opinions, because I have them, like everybody else. You know what? Okay. That's what I get. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have advice or a different reading, please let me know what you see. I, I would love to hear um, other people's views on these reads um, because, you know, it's about community. Maybe uh, what I read for myself is not what I would have read if this had been for somebody else. So, but this is specifically for me. Thank you all. Come back again. There's more Dexa cards. Have a great day. Ciao.